I feel like you remember Sid. Sid. He's from a, he had like three hairs on. Hey Arnold, he always wore a cap backwards. Oh, hold on. Thinking, thinking. Yeah. I always I was thinking about the episode where he like he finds out about germs, and then he. I don't know. It's just it's just like it makes it's such a surreal episode of how much germs are around you. Like I don't know, you never escape it. It's like a it's like you're being ambushed. Do you uh, think there was some foreshadowing? Do you th- for COVID? <laughs> for COVID? <I> don't, <laughs> do you think I that think, the writers were like something bad's gonna come this way? I don't know. It's it's just nasty to think about germs because it's just like roaches, except you can't see or feel them, and then like they're crawling in and out of your mouth like constantly. So that is a horrible way to think about germs that i can't get out of my mind now. And then, i don't know it's just like the mouth is such a hot spot because it's warm and moist so okay but yeah. you have disgusted me more than any guest yeah. in five seconds it's done and it's spreading just like the germs yeah. that we're talking about yeah so but it's good because now i've caught it and yeah. i feel like i am ripe for sweating and feverish for a good episode. Yeah, every time I don't know if we're rolling. Are we rolling? We are rolling. Okay. Yeah. So anytime like I'll shake someone's hand because I remember one time I got a bloody nose in a bathroom and I saw like five guys, they didn't wash their hands. I'm like, that's disgusting. Sick. And comics do the same thing. So I wash my hands after like I are pants and it's either. But when I play with dogs, I'll like play with my dog and then eat finger foods right afterwards. I don't really care. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, because no dogs wash their hands. But I feel like they lick themselves. So it's just like So you have to be So hold on. <laughs> so if you saw me going into the bathroom, yeah. And then after I went to the bathroom, I was like and I licked my palms and then tried to shake your hand. How be excited are you to see me? My tail's wagging. All right, then maybe. I don't I'm know. Pumped. <laughs> I'm pumped. I'm like, mm. so how big are your breasts? Is the question. Here. My <laughs> breasts are so big. If I saw you doing that, then tying your hair back, I might just like maybe, maybe. All right, well, let me t- just tie this back. <laughs> Let's shake hands, man. I feel like my hands are open and ready to embrace this episode of a comedy advice podcast. I'm Stefan Zatani, your host. Joining me today, very special guest. His name is Jeffrey. His last name's Morel. Mm-hmm. Please welcome Jeffrey Morel. Oh, do I look at you or do I look at this? You look actually just straight at that third foam panel to the right and to the bottom. Now yeah. say thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Look at the panel. You oh, just dude. immediately. What is wrong with your <laughs> eye contact? Uh, sorry. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Okay. And I'll look at this one. Jeffrey, yeah. how's it going? Uh, it's good. Um, babysitting dogs right now. Um, okay. How many dogs? Uh, just one. It's like this bulldog. Um, What's his name? Penny. Penny. Yeah, she's a she meshes good with my Chihuahua, so it's like a yin and yang type of deal. Okay, what's your Chihuahua's name? A puppy. Pup puppy. Puppy. Okay, Penny and Puppy. <laughs> oh man, what? A, okay, I feel like those are adorable names, yeah. and I feel like if there's not a cartoon about Penny and Puppy, there should be. It really should be. I think uh, it's just they're so opposite. One's just like a old lady, and then the other one's just like, "Bitch, look at me! Why are you petting this person right here? I'm right here!" And it's like a constant. Battle. And then the other one's like, "Don't hound me, dog." Which one is? Wait, which one's the old lady? Is uh, that the Penny? Bulldog? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause the bull, cause the bulldog has big cheeks, right? Yeah. She'll wake me up and then like she'll headbutt my hand just to pet her head, and so she's like, "You should pet me on the head right now. It's a good time for that." Is that the old lady voice that you do? I was trying to sound like you. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. It, I feel like the the cheeks. It it's uh it's a little bit more. You know, like the guy from Star Wars Episode One. This is Jar Jar Binks' his dad. That guy. I never watched any Star Wars. Oh, man. Well. So you should throw all those references you, out the window. The force will not be with us today. <laughs> but I feel, hey, Penny, Puppy, and Jeffrey. Are, I feel all your spirits with me mm-hmm. today. And guess what? This is, your, this is the first episode I'm having in the new year in 2022. Snaps all around. Man, how do you feel being my first? Have you... <laughs> Has that happened to you a lot? Are you a lot of people's first? First, for, I mean, like, no. When you go to a restaurant and they're like, you're our first customer? Oh, I am I feel like I don't wake up that early. I did uh, I did go to Cheesecake Factory, and they're not, they don't sing you happy birthday anymore. They did they chant it? Like no. Like Gregorian they, monks? They just said, like, hey, we don't do that anymore. Um, I guess maybe it takes too much time. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened for them to be like, we don't do that anymore? <laughs> what the fuck happened for them to not sing happy birthday anymore? I don't know. It was like, it was because it was a, 
my wife's birthday was my birthday, but we didn't want to do anything. But the person next to us, it was their birthday, and I actually love singing happy birthday. It's like my favorite thing. Okay. I actually, when I worked at Olive Garden, they told me to stop singing it. Like, Because you started just singing to people that it wasn't their birthday? Like, kids were like... Like, I don't know, there's this kid and he had autism. <laughs> All right. Okay. Keep going with this story. And then he just got like super uncomfortable and he started crying because it was so overwhelming. Because when I do it, it's a solo. It turns into a solo. So I can see the whole crew, Olive Garden, just the, the whole, the branches of the olive tree all together. And then one root. Jeffrey Morrell just sticking out and be like, happy birthday. Wait, can you sing me happy birthday? Happy birthday. Yeah, it's not as, you have, yours is a little smooth. That's a little, you got that Portuguese butter in your voice. Oh, right why, thank you. Yeah. yeah, and that Italian cream just, <laughs> mm, because I actually used to work at Fizzoli's. So mm-hmm. I would sing people happy birthday and I would just come on through. I brought my own guitar. Shut the fuck up. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, I did the riff. So I wasn't good at it. So I'd have to be like, hold on, hold on. And that's when I really just I put the the that's, that's a bad that's what you did. <laughs> happy birthday and yeah so that's why I don't work at Fazoli's anymore and, uh, but I think it's a uh, singing happy birthday I always realize people give up like when I'm when I'm, people would give up so during the last seventy five percent of it it's just me. So, Damn. Like, so, but yeah, some old ladies really popped me up. They're like, hell yeah. Happy birthday. So, yeah. Yeah. You've done several impressions of an old lady so far <laughs> and they've all been fantastic. <laughs> I wish you could do more. They were, they were really good. I almost <laughs> felt like grandma had come back. I just feel like they're different personas. Like you ever see that old sure. lady that has like gel comb over and then like, that's a, that's like a fifties or sixties. Now that's we're talking my, about like, that's my grandma. That's your grandma. My whole grandma. Yeah. Mama me. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> could you do that one more time? Mama me. Stephen. I come to age just for Gabby. <laughs> oh, what does that sound like? About the bud to Harry Carey. That's what it sounds like. I, was, yeah. I feel like you're super intense. It's like you didn't twirl your mustache before dinner. Go back up to your room. You need to grease your hair back before you need to bury the body and clean your hands. Oh, ma, grandma, nonna, I licked them just like a dog. Okay, babana, you can eat your spaghetti. Yeah. So that's that's how my grandma was. That was really- <laughs> Thank you. Aggressive. I like it. Well, that's the Satani family. Did you ever go, go to Italy? I lived in Italy. You really did? Yeah. For how long? Like your whole life? S- n- no, <laughs> just half my life. Half yeah. Yeah. Where 15 you? years. I stayed in a little town mm-hmm. called Ferrara. And it was very cool. You got to, they tried to historically preserve the city. So unless you were a resident, you couldn't drive. You had to ride your bicycle. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Well, I like it. I mean, because apparently, like, there, I saw this one thing that, like, in America, we give up so much space in the world to cars as far as, like, parking lots and, like, look how... Cause unless you, like, bike or skateboard or, like, you notice how shitty the sidewalks are because it's just, like... If you want to skateboard, I don't know if you ever got into that, but... It oh, needs bro. To... <laughs> Do you see this hair? This is skating hair. I feel like you should have wet it. Before. This goes through the wind. I should have wet my hair. I don't know. I watched because in res- wrestlers, they wet their hair before the match so it can have more of an impact when you throw it. Like, <clears throat> and it's just hot. That is hot. Yeah. Well, I'm imagining a guy that his specific job is just to hold the bucket so that they dip their hair back in it. Really? Is had, that how it happens? Some wrestlers, like, I'm a really big wrestling guy. I love wrestling, but nice. like, uh, Triple H, he'll just, like, he'll just go to the ring and then he'll stand there. And he'll just pour the bucket of water on his head and then hop into the ring. So, yeah, because the, there's a beaming headlight, so it gets oh, the overheat. So they do, they make it part of the production. Yeah. They it, make the wetting of the hair part of the production. Yeah, they don't just the, come out with wet hair and they're like, oh, I just got out of the shower. He actually, before he goes up, he stands outside of the ring puts the water in his mouth and spits it out and then flexes. So. I can, you painted that picture so beautifully yeah. with the, your palette of words that I felt like I just saw the whole thing happen. The mist coming from emerging from his mouth, mm-hmm. erupting from his, how, if you were a wrestler, how would you make your entrance? What would your name be by the way? Um, That's a hard question. I don't know. Cause uh, I've realized so many wrestlers, like they don't have some, they don't own their names. They don't. So like John Cena doesn't own his well, name. We don't own our, we're, we the government owns our names. Does it really? Yes. I don't really think so. The government owns what, our names. The government doesn't make money off our names. That's the main. The government uh, definitely makes money. That's off true. Our names. Taxes and shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the yeah. government. 
we uh, owe a lot to the government yeah. including our names it's just it's just... bound to us except unless you change it to tupac or prince then those names they don't get filed on tax reports shut the fuck up that's why <laughs> you said that so confidently you don't have to file taxes <laughs> no <I'm> just... <laughs> I changed my name to Simbad, so I don't have to do taxes anymore, bitch. No. <laughs> Lady Gaga don't owe shit to the government. No, you got to – well, anyway, we'll skip past that. Yeah, we are not a tax or financial podcast. Please do your taxes and don't change your names. Don't change them. Who the fuck cares? You do what you want. This is America. You see someone in court like, yeah, I changed my name to Jiggly Buffalo because <laughs> – <laughs> I saw I saw some Italian guy tell me that yeah. you didn't have to pay taxes. Oh, right after he was licking his hands. Dude, Jiggly Buffalo. Mm-hmm. Nice wrestling name. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like mine has to be... Um, but you're not Jiggly. You're, I'm not. you're in pretty good shape. I'm malnourished. Um, okay, that's yeah, another one we can work yeah. with. <laughs> malnourished Morel? Malnourished Mallory coming to the ring now. Let's bring it now. All right, no. he's coming out. He's coming out. Yeah. He's shaking his hands. He drank. He didn't spit out the water. He just drank it yeah, because actually, he's malnourished. He actually put his piss in a bottle. And, he, uh, <laughs> that's a smart move on his end. He's not going to get the piss kicked out of him. Yeah, he's doing the sprinkler. Call that a strong, narrow urethra right there. All right, let's get this mesh dry. He's hitting the fans. He's yeah. spraying the fans, just like Shamu, but with piss from his peenie. Yeah, my goal, I, want, I just want to be famous enough where I can just make a guest appearance on WWE. Like, and then okay. I want someone to throw me through a table. Like, I want to, like, Dude. I want to make sure someone looks as bad as possible. That's, I don't know, because that's the main thing. You want to make this person look strong and powerful. And right. what's looking more, you, did you ever watch, uh, you know, The Jackass? Yeah. There's a scene where... Um, I forgot. Steve-O. Steve-O, yeah. I was going to call it Steve Owens for some reason. Ste- <laughs> that, well, that's his full name. That's Isn't what it stands for. Yeah. Really? Steve that, Owens. That's a comic out here, too. It's weird. Oh, really? I think. No, Steve Owens. Yeah. But he um, he actually, he you could look up this scene. He's fighting this person named Umaga. And it's supposed to be just a named, quick. I'm sorry, what? Umaga. He definitely doesn't pay his taxes. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he wears face paint. So I'm going to Dude, uh, he, but he uh he got uh he got the crap beat out of him because it's supposed to be a quick like you come to the ring you're a guest and then I I just punch you or clothesline you or power bomb you end of story but Steve O kept getting up and so he literally like got his rib broken because because the wrestler can't break character in front of. <clears throat> millions and millions of people so he just kept throwing him his his finisher was like jabbing the thumb into someone's throat so he just had to do it again and then just kind of like knee them it's Dude, really bad wait can't you die did he do a trach that way can they you... could they probably do it somewhere where it's just kind of um like they sell it but i'd assume i i don't know how he does it because that would hurt just doing this but i assume it's like oh like, or maybe he's like uh yeah he goes I, in. well he does it laterally so yeah but it's just weird though so. But yeah, then you just sell it. So I don't know. Maybe he doesn't have a. Maybe he's got a fake thumb. Really? Like, you know, like the swords. Yeah, Samoans, the swords, Samoans you stab don't have people real in thumbs. The Samoans. Samoans don't have real thumbs. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah. yeah, Samoans they don't have real thumbs, and their hair is always wet. <laughs> it's just how it is. I think that <laughs> might be true yeah. because in Hawaii it always rains. Greatest shoulders I've ever seen on any ethnicity, though. So. Really, shoulders uh, well defined. Nah, I just all three sections. <laughs> There's three sections of your shoulder. There's the delts, there's <clears throat> the fablias, and then there's the front. Shoulder. Okay, I just thought it was like one, two. That's oh, all. one, two <laughs> shoulder. No, there's a third shoulder. Some people like a third nipple. Yeah. They just got a third shoulder. Yeah. No, but there's the three muscle groups. I don't know what they're called. I just know delts, and that's it. But mm-hmm. I made up the other two names. Yeah. Well, you... Front shoulder wasn't very creative. The other one was maybe. Falabia? Yeah, I was like, that sounds like you're just saying an Italian word right there. That sounds right? like, it's the, uh, you know, the mamma mia. You, you rolled the R's. Yeah, the ra, the ra. But yeah, there's three muscle groups in the shoulders. So they probably work out all of them. Mm-hmm. We, when uh, my school played football, we made it to the championship probably like five years in a row. We we only, I think we wow, only brag. won like once. Okay, we get it. No, yeah, but the thing is, shit. once all the Samoans graduated, we became the worst school in like the country. It was like really, we were really as good as how many Samoans we had on the team. Because you grew up in Alaska. Yeah. 
That's right. Yeah, that's an important fact. Oh, that's yeah. Alaska. Yeah. So. Maybe not important, but a cool one. Yeah. That's Just pretty cool. Be racist against Alaskans. That's the goal. How does one be racist against Alaskans? Can you I don't know, but Alaskans me? are really racist. Um, are they really? I don't know. They're weird. It's a weird bias because... um, ugh. I don't know anything about well, Alaska except what I saw in The Revenant. Bears will fuck you up. They will fuck you up. They actually, I think a black bears are like the raccoons of bears. Oh, okay. Okay. Bless you. Because they kind of just go through trash and actually they cross. Because my school was in a mountain um, in Anchorage and I'd cross. I, we, we'd have Did to you go to school with bears? They were, was we, it half bear? We were in a bear's radius. We were in their we were in their zone. So we had to be very careful of like, they were like, we go look back in the window and the bears and they're like, hey, we're in lockdown right now. You can't leave. You got to wait till the bear leaves because they get a mile space per capita. Dan, did that happen often? Yeah, there was um when uh like well, like very much or like very much or very little. Very okay. <laughs> I don't know. I want to think of a bear pun. This is like, <laughs> just like we press pause. <laughs> uh, we did cross country race and um there's this guy and you can know he's Caucasian because I said cross country, but <laughs> he like he didn't swallow the arrows and he like he actually got um eaten by a bear. Um, he got no way. Him. Black bear or grizzly? Grizzly. I, yeah, I feel like grizzly would really chow down on you. Yeah, but um, yeah, you don't want to fuck with grizzlies. No, just like it's game over. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. So uh, yeah, so it's just kind of like you gotta watch out. Not really too much, but it's a common thing. Like if you don't have bear spray, it's kind of a stupid thing. Here's a question for you. I went to Yellowstone recently and learned a lot about bears mm -hmm. and black bears, grizzly bears. And did you taste one? We I didn't taste any. Okay. No, they didn't let me. Yeah. Like on the real, like they they didn't let you. They, you don't hunt them. No. I okay. Didn't. I've right, cool. hunt. I have hunted before. My dad was an avid hunter, still is. So I got to hunt elk, deer, pheasant, moose, duck. No moose. Yeah. Really? No moose I in Arizona. Like, I I feel like because I, I don't I don't taste a lot of game, but I probably tried the game you haven't tried. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Can we pause and relish? The words that just came out of your mouth. What? That sounded epic as fuck. I don't taste a lot of game, but the game <laughs> I've tasted, you've never tried. It's, holy shit. It sounds like we're going to go into a rap battle or something like that. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. It's Jiggly Moose and Lil Grizz. Motherfucker, my game. <laughs> <laughs> the game I tasted, you haven't even seen shit. Motherfucker. God damn, I just spit out your water. Kiss on me? Fuck. All right. That's <laughs> oh, Podcast <God>. over. <laughs> Just tell your Just... family downstairs, hey, motherfucker didn't know what game it was Just about. Just piss on him over the, over the story. God Just, damn. Urethra missed. Yeah. <laughs> but... Well, what a spray. What a day. Uh, but uh, no, the thing I was going to say is, how does one use bear spray? Because I've... If we, we rented one and you give it back, if you mess with it or use it, you don't get your deposit back. And we didn't get close enough to bear. So I never got to use it. I can't, I've never, I've, luckily I've had never, I've had the privilege of never having to use it. But I, I would assume it's just like any spray like Febreze. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? No way. There's not a safety on Febreze. There's not like a... <laughs> can't go Febreze without a safety. It's the same. No. But... But uh, there was like a herd of mosquitoes that were chasing because mosquitoes are a lot bigger in Alaska. Dude, fuck <laughs> that. Fuck mosquitoes. Because mosquitoes are like this big. You yeah. have a great bit on that, by the way. What? Mosquitoes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I think maybe. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to expand my Alaska material just because someone gave me a, a professional comic. They said, hey, nobody has material on Alaska. Do your bit about Alaska. So I'm for sure. So I'm kind of caught between like I'm kind of tired about doing material about Alaska. But at the same time, it's like I feel like I should take professional advice from like this person. Yeah. But yeah. You probably who was it? Do you mind uh, me asking? Akash Singh. Oh, dude. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's great. Because yeah. I, I did the I, I just went to his Friday show when he, was here, when he was here and he said, I told him I was a comic and he's like, yo, just come by and CB Live told How me. How does he sound? No, I'm not going to say. Yeah, yeah, come by. Uh, <laughs> All right, bro. It was interesting seeing like people in the green room and like I was like, yo, they have Fiji water in this green room. This is dope as fuck. Like, <laughs> not like JP's. Uh, I was like, they get, like we left and we love uh, JP's. It, yeah, that's so why I don't name drop for reasons, <laughs> just in case. But like, um, but yeah, we did that. I don't know. They actually served Red Bull and they had flavored Red Bull in the back. I just took two. I don't even like Red Bull, and I just took two just because. I didn't even. I didn't know 
Red Bull had flavors. Yeah. Like, I thought they just had diesel and then. No, there's like watermelon ish. It tastes horrible to me, but you know. Fair enough. Yeah. That ginseng is potent. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. that's the, that's the flavor. Like yeah. that's the ingredient that makes it taste like shit. Maybe. But he said, um, he told me to do a bit about Alaska. Cause he's like, no one's from there. I remember two things actually. Did you a, do a guest spot? Yeah. He, t- I came over the next night. Nice dude. I DM'd him. Cause I was like, CB live said, don't come. Cause I, cause he just said, it was kind of shocking. It's just like, you're a comic. Like, I think I was like six months in. He's like, come do guest spot. What? I'm like, are you serious? So like, wow, good for you, man. Yeah. So I did that. And he said <clears> like, do a bit about Alaska and don't lose your marriage over comedy. And I was like, that was a really too bit of like good of advice. That's solid shit, man. Mm-hmm. That's Cause, great. Cause there be hoes out there. There, mm. there be hoes. And you don't know your loyalty until you have options. That's a real thing right there. <laughs> Can you stop with all these <laughs> amazing quotes, please? God, I feel like we should just take those parts out. Those beautiful <laughs> quotes. And then just, I'll put music to it and then we'll make a rap. You just put like a backs like a background. It's like, Ma, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> there we've got it. Yeah. Clip it. Done. That's yeah. great. But no, yeah, it was cool. It's interesting just seeing um how relaxed he was. It was kind of more like yeah. and just seeing the switch they can do because it's like a Saturday late show. He's like, ah. I'm not I don't know. I don't know how most people are, but it's just kinda of like because I watched his podcast Flagrant Two yeah. with Andrew Schultz, Schultz. So I was like, Well, this is like surreal. So yeah. I was like, I didn't think I'd be in the same room with him. So yeah. <clears throat> That's super cool, man. That's yeah. really cool. I by the way, d- we met at a comedy show, JP's Comedy Club. Shout out. I'm gonna be performing February twenty second that whole weekend. Mm-hmm. But you did a spot there. What was your first impression of moi? I knew you before because I actually saw you at C um at House of Comedy and I just like oh. yeah, I just followed your podcast like right away and I started listening. Oh shit. So <laughs> dope, dude. So, I feel like I'm not cool enough to say the word dope, but dip. Um, dope bro no nah, when it, when somebody gives their tag for a youtube i just follow right away because like i don't really care That's like great. It's, so i just listened was i doing stand-up at house comedy or was it what you were i forgot what show you were on. was it lamar's show um, yeah you the were shoot your shot shoot your shot yeah okay you uh you filled okay. it you filled in for him yes you, yes yeah you were the one white person dude um, <laughs> <laughs> that's me yeah that's what i do that's you bro dope i'm the dopest white person but i feel I, I really have to give lamar a shout out again because he he and i we ended up doing a podcast together i got him on here and then he ended up thinking of me as a potential guest host and i did i, I slayed all day and it went well and he was like oh we got to do something together and then that show started to fizzle down so then i brought the trash or treasure idea to him we refined it pitched it and then mike dapper was like no and we we're like please <laughs> and he was like okay fine yeah you can try it out it's yeah cool. yeah yeah he was like all right let's see if this is trash i was surprised because I, I talked to i think her name is stephanie and i don't know if it was exactly but they're pretty open to ideas because it's not like it's a contract it's like yeah you could try it like, yeah, you know? yeah 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 exactly exactly mm-hmm. so i mean if you want to do a wwe <laughs> wrestling just do it man yeah. comedy fuck I don't know, like, Fuck. wrestling's fun because it's just roasting. If you look at it, like, when they're in the ring, they're just roasting each other. <laughs> Jeffrey. Jeffrey, Jeffrey. What? what if we brought to House of Comedy a wrestling roast show? Wrestling roast. Right. Where we go in there and we bring a lot killer lineup. We all dress up as wrestlers. We make the most dramatic entrances. We just talk shit to each other. And then we leave. Just <laughs> <laughs> no, no wrestling. <laughs> Listen here, brother. <laughs> no. uh, Rose is. Uh, you ever been to Alice Vapy Valpies? I think. Yes. Yes. Roast been... burnout. Burnout. Yeah, it's like a different. Feel. Don't know why I said it twice. Burnout. 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 burnout? <laughs> That's a different feel. It's definitely cool. Forgot it. Well, I'm sorry. We just we've been jumping on so many topics. So, so I was like, we're wrestling with a lot. <laughs> we're here. wrestling with a lot. But um, no, I was gonna say um. I told my wife about you and I was like, yeah, he's the only person I've seen only do hosting when it comes to comedy. Like he never does. He's never guest spots. He's just always hosting. I was like, it's super impressive. Like, Oh, well, fuck. Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I, it's because I wasn't doing stand up, and I started, I got it sucked into it. And the thing was, I was doing podcasts the whole time I dedicated. Cause I thought I've got my nine to five. I am trying to take care of my wife, give her love and attention. 
and take care of my little kitties. And so I can give 100% to either podcasting or stand up because I was doing both of those. And I was like, fuck, I'll do podcasting. And then coronavirus hit. So then I got really lucky. It was completely serendipitous because then there were stand-up comedians that I had wanted to reach out to and they suddenly had nothing to do. So <clears throat> I asked a couple and they said yes. I think Brad Williams was the first one, then Adam Ray, then just it kept piling up. And so I got really good at that. But now we talked a little bit about this off air. I want to be a shining star of my own. And so I'm trying to find ways to do that. So I'm doing improv now. And I think I, I'm part of, I'm guest performer in a troupe or will be I'm taking intensive classes for that. And I love it. I love improv. And now why'd you air quote it like that? Cause you air quoted it. Did you? All right, man. Talk, okay. <laughs> no, I, I just felt like, it. I just felt like intensive improv. I'm like, that seems like a paradox. It's just I like... feel I, dude, you've done improv, right? Yeah. It's not intense. Like it's fun. But I wouldn't say it's just like, I no. like, I'm done with my scene. I'm like, that was a tough third quarter right there. You know, I had a really, you know, he didn't yes and me and I just had to jump out there. That's exactly what it's it. like, man. Yeah. It's they're like, okay, for this scene, you are going to rob him and then kidnap him and hold him for ransom. That's like the opposite of improv though. Cause they're telling you what to do. Well, you get to make it up. You okay. get to make up how much money you steal, how much you take it for ransom. <laughs> if you're going to slit his throat or not. I mean, there's a lot of variables. I feel like that's so Oh no, I'm not like an improv connoisseur, but I just feel like that's very controlled improv. Just kind of telling you this. It's like hey, they I'm give you the script <laughs> and they tell you exactly what to say. It's so intense. That's just like oh no, that's just like here. Here's your birthday present, and you can spend it on any one of these three things that I really need for my office. There yeah. you go. Yeah. So you do one, two, or three. You get no choices, and that's how it is. So it's yeah, you can either go get a Nintendo Switch. You can go get me on my car detailed or we can have a threesome with your best friend but just really one of those three you know <laughs> whatever you want to choose but you get to choose from those three no yeah. yes ands. Yeah. and so yeah that's pretty much it you nailed it it's intensive improv <laughs> and what else then I, i'm starting to get back into stand-up just starting so i'm going to be hosting again at jp's february 22nd <laughs> and trash or treasure that's not really stand-up though that's more I don't really know what that's, it is. It's a, a mix of improv. To me, that's a podcast. <clears throat> it is. No, it really is. It's a podcast. And speaking of, we're actually, I know you're going to be on the lineup this next Tuesday. Yeah. And this episode's going to come out on Monday, maybe. And I've actually, I've prepared. You've been to one of the episodes. But we're going to talk about some trash or treasure topics here right now. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? All right. How much time do we got? Okay. We're how, how long are these things? Long Usually are about three hours. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. I try to I try to model them after Joe Rogan. Yeah. So I did a bunch of DMT. We're gonna have some elk meat later. You know, like you're vegan though. Yeah, that's true. So I'll just like smell it. Uh, well, I also save the elk droppings, which are vegetarian. That's so crazy. then you can have those because all they eat is just plants and DMT and Febreze. Yeah. They, they're yeah. in my backyard and yeah. Febreze. Yeah, that's because no one uses the safety. There's no safety on a Febreze. Well, we could spray all day, but we're gonna keep it contained and talk a little bit about trash or treasure topics. So mm -hmm. I've got the first one: air fryers. Trash or trash, trash or trash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're doing amazing, sweetie. You're doing so good. <laughs> uh, I just feel like they're overhyped. My my wife just got one. She's been like asking for like two years. Um, for two years? <laughs> what kind of husband are you? It's because like every time for holidays or her birthday and Christmas, I just get her kitchen appliances. <laughs> So like she's like because uh, when we first moved to Arizona from Alaska we didn't block we came here with nothing and so except the bear hide on your back yeah I got her a microwave for her Christmas um, <laughs> holy what did she get you uh I don't know some Jordans uh, fuck it she gets you Jordans and you're like here babe it's yeah. a toaster oven yeah and then the next year I got her an espresso machine okay it, that's pretty dope is it yeah so Espre well what kind of espresso machine is there flavors I, I don't know it's just oh no of the machine I, like an espresso is it a k-cup is it a oh no espresso also then we also got like a keurig thing so oh, okay so I just get garbage, her but... I get her stuff to to help cook you know it's hard Cause I, it's just That's sure. sending a really subtle message, isn't it's, it? It's it's safety. here, babe. This makes it easier. <laughs> here's some <laughs> have the spatula. Here's a here's a softener ball. Here, just help you do. I don't know, <laughs> just buy a random. But um, 
air fryers. We, so we got one like two weeks ago. I've never used it um, just because I'm right. Because your wife uses it. Yeah. Because you gave it to her. <laughs> She's like, don't touch. This is mine. She told me to use it. But I'm like, I'm just such in a rush. It's just like, you know, what? I'll just use the oven because I don't even understand it. <laughs> oh, okay. That you're the first person to say to save time instead of using the air fryer, I'm gonna just put my shit in the oven. <laughs> Is it quicker? I don't know. It's way quicker. <laughs> it's you don't have to wait for it to preheat. It yeah. basically just starts frying yeah. right there. Yeah. You don't put oil in it or nothing. No, that's mm. the beauty of it. Uh, it would be called oil fryer. I feel like then it's kind of like a trick thing. It's kind of like. Oh, it's kind of like the cure to cancer, trash or treasure. <laughs> like, well, yeah. here's the, here's the thing though. Yeah. Some people are saying that it's like an oven. It's just basically a scam. Mm -hmm. It's like a, an oven that fits less shit in there, mm -hmm. depending on the size of your air fryer. We use it to make fried Oreos. Um, what the fuck? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Just get like a. Well, you can't use pancake batter on it. That's what I usually make fried Oreos with. Sure. But for that, you just get crescent rolls and just wrap the Oreos and then do that and then put some uh, powdered sugar and whipped cream on it. Where have you been all my life? All right. Man. I want, yeah, you just got to find these cooking videos on Facebook. That are Is that what you guys... Oh, okay. So it's not Alaska where these well, I think, delicacies or no. traditions are come from. No, I don't think it's a... I think it's just like a fat thing you do. You know? Just a fat thing. Just a fat yeah. thing. There's a culture of... Uh, especially... I feel... Are you... Um, I, I have an inner fat person, I feel. I, I think I'm like skinny fat. Kind of. I work out. Like if you went to the beach, to I'd be like, well, I thought you were a little bit more... In shape. Yeah. Yes. Bingo. Same deal. Bingo. Exactly. People are like, mm, I, I hate, I love the face too. When I take off my shirt and people are like, mm, they give it a little grimace. Because we're tall. So we're able to hide it because we have broad shoulders. Exactly. So the shoulders. I like, I just like, I puff up my chest a little bit and you can't even see my gut. If you can't see my gut, I'm like, all right, I really got to calm down. But like, yeah. Yeah. yeah I get too stimulated. The little tummy. I try to tuck it, but it's still just, it flops over sometimes. Mm -hmm. Dad bod. Does it, are you at that point where like you have to like, li you could lift it up? Uh, yeah, I lift my belly. Like, lift that, like, I mean, let's kind of, I've got a little, roll, especially sitting, dude. It's yeah. just all accumulated here. Mm -hmm. It's like you, you pop off the Pillsbury top and then all that crescent roll shit just starts to droop. Mm -hmm. That's how it is right now. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so fried Oreos. That's great. Air fryer, trash, or did you say trash? Uh, I mean, to me, because I'm ignorant. Hurry Tra up. This is trash. intensive. Trash. Okay, there you go. Beautiful. Those improv acting classes, you know. That, you did great. <laughs> Thank you. It's so good. All right, next one is bidets. Trash or treasure? Mm. Have you ever used a bidet? I I feel like... Did you get one for your wife for her Christmas? You're giving me things that are out of my tax bracket, so I can't really... <laughs> Bro, have you... I mean, Tushy, Hello Tushy, is 20% off right now with promo code A Comedy Advice Podcast, and it's only really $79.99. Yeah, this was an organic way to... Get out of town. Yeah. I mean, well, now it's a complete flush, but thank you for that. Now it's a big old turd in the bowl. <laughs> no, it's not. I just made it up. But hello, Tushy. Please promote. Please sponsor me. Um, but no, a bidet. You've, ne you've never had a bidet? They're, they're pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> You're so excited about this. Do it. It really is. If, if your girl's like shy about butt stuff, she won't be after she tries this bidet. Oh, hell no. Because it has a gentle whisper, too, that comes with the stream. So it's really? like, it's okay, baby. But I heard you like, you don't even use toilet paper afterwards. You just put your pants up. Is that... Um, no, I don't <laughs> think that's the case. I don't think it's because your butt's clean. Like, you're so fine. Think of it like a dirty dish with some soap, ketchup, and oh. hamburger attached to it still. And so you try and wash it off with water. But you still need to scrub it a little bit mm. to get all the burger bits off. Okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm never, I'm going to say, like, you know, it sounds cool. You were really excited about it. You know, you, I feel like if, you know, if we were in the human centipede, you're the guy I want to be next to. Thank or, you. So let's go treasure. <laughs> all right. Well, beautiful. Yeah. Would you give it a try? You sound a little. Would I give it? You sound a little shy. Because I put lax so I put laxatives in your sparkling water. So you're going to have to give it a oh, try. Oh, shit. All right. Know. Well, yeah. I feel is... like you know, it's a different thing. You know, um, I don't know. Things are going to get a little bubbly. Uh, maybe. Maybe. What's the next thing? That was it. That's, that's it. Those okay. are the only two things. Yeah, this is great. Comedy yeah. comes in threes, bro. <laughs> oh man. Well, okay. Trash or treasure segment. Trash or treasure. Treasure. Thank you. Actually, you know what? Trash. 
Damn. Okay, coming in with the trash. <laughs> I can't agree. I can't disagree with you. It was pretty shitty. I know it was just a slap dash effort. I tried to do it last minute. And I was like, <laughs> oh, bidets. Yeah, fucking air fryers. I'll just Google shit. <laughs> Top trends so like make it you know Holocaust trash. How yeah. about bees? You know bees trash or treasure? Oh yeah. treasure! Yeah, they pollinate the shit out of everything. But then some people are like kind of like just bees mind their business though on the real. Like if you ever go past a sunflower, they don't care about you. That's yeah. where the phrase "mind your beeswax" came from yeah. because people saw the bees and they were like, "You don't want me to spill this tea?" And the bees were like, "I'm just trying to chill on my own beeswax." All mm. right, buddy. All right, so. No, that's yeah. where it came from. Yeah, yeah, make it kind of a uh, I don't know, it's kind of things are like you know, like Thanos, trash or treasure. Say his name again. Thanos, Thanos. You said Thanos. Thanos. Is that not how you say his name? That's not how you say. So his let's name. say his name. Thanos. Have you seen the movies? Have you I seen have. any of the movies in the franchise? Yeah. Thanos. Okay, Thanos. That's right. Oh, really? Thanos. Thanos is like famous <laughs> Anos cookies. Th- but yeah, Thanos is uh, trash. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because he kills people. I mean, he's trying to save people. But he kills people. There are other ways to save people. It's like people. a cost. It's like if you have dude, if you have all five infinity stones, then there can be much better ways. There's like an infinite number of ways. I you think can help he's save treasure people. because he won and then we had to time travel to beat him. Like Tony Stark, I saw this in a TikTok. This is my like. I was like, wow, this is smart. Tony Stark didn't even want to go back in time. He was chilling with his daughter. He and was then, like <laughs> loving five thousand you or yeah. something. And yeah. then you know people come in because you know Avengers were trash. That's why they didn't win. And so they had to go back. And now Tony has, has a orphan. Orphan's all right. Child. Okay, that's one way to look at it. Yeah. But I feel like Thanos, instead of killing all the people to save others, he could just be like, snap, snap, bitch, and then more planets could arrive. And he could make so many cool planets, too. Imagine, he could make a planet that's like half bidet. I so feel, you could shit and then have a clean tush. I feel like that would cause more problems with more people in the universe because I'm not science. The universe has a limited size. Did you just say, I'm not science? I'm not science. I'm not science, but (laughs) Thanos has some points here. Yeah, it's just like, you know, there's going to be more pirates and shit, and so more problems are going to arise. We can just snap and kill the pirates. Well, you don't know that. One snap takes everything out of him. You know what he could do? He could make the pirates good. Because he has time on his hands, literally. And so if he fucks up, he can just be like, and just wind back. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to let things happen. You gotta let things happen. It's a part of, you know, when I see a not wo- not when you have an infinity stone that allows time to. You know, when I'm on the beach and I see a person with one arm drowning, I let them go because you gotta let things happen. Well, obviously that is, mm-hmm. tr- yeah, mm-hmm. that's their fault. And what's this? What's the difference? You know, I just like I like that it could be both ends. You know, uh, both sides of just like you can just put you, you can, can clean both sides with Hello Toshi too. Okay. Is this like your wannabe sponsor, or is this yeah? This is, okay. I'm aspiring for Toshi. I love butt stuff. I want a Toshi. Do you so tag bad. them in every podcast in the notes? Every single one. Get, yeah, I'm gonna check the show notes. I don't believe. You. No, I do. I do, and I include a promo code. I deceive my listeners. They go there and they're like, "Oh, I thought it was twenty percent off." Hello, Toshi's like, "We're not affiliated with Stefan." For the love of God, stop! And but I, I just keep keep flushing. <laughs> Keep swirling. <laughs> if I act like I have sponsorships, they will come. Exactly, dude. You just got to say, you know, brought to you by Havaianas. <laughs> Do a flip. Don't flop. Sturdy faux leather. This is not even leather. It's like a poly plastic blend. Beautiful. 20% off with promo code at a comedy advice podcast. I love it. But That's yeah. Awesome. But uh, yeah. Thanos. Thano, you okay? The vowel, you're just flexing the shit out of the vowel. It's like Thanos, 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 <laughs> Thanos, Thanos, and Iron Man were just totally <laughs> the key elements of the story. And Capitan America, Israel. <laughs> Did you see Hulk? <laughs> so how do you say it? Thanos. Thanos. I feel like I have a speech impediment. <laughs> so I know English way too well. Thanos. <laughs> Theta, Thanos. 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 
they know for sure they know. maybe that's how they say it in i don't know probably not a latin language but maybe in finland or something mm-hmm. maybe in the language that's how they pronounce it mm-hmm. i uh, met a guy in greece that was serving us our drinks on the beach and his name was thanos really you know what the best part was it wasn't happening it didn't really happen i snapped and he came <laughs> colonization that was a weird way to to phrase it but yeah yeah he served us yeah i colonized him and i fucking killed him that's what happens that's how it worked and uh yeah so anyway cool Mm -hmm. yours was better than both of mine so that was a great ending trash treasure topic oh i guess yeah i guess your opinion you did okay you think yours was worse than mine i don't know i forgot what i said you're so indecisive you're gonna be great for this show (laughs) Amazing. She's like, maybe this, maybe I shouldn't go to the next round. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this, she, she wore really nice shoes today. I don't know. <laughs> so, Jeffrey, we're going to close this podcast down, and I've got a couple things here. I'll, I'll let you choose what we're going to do. We've got a question. We've, we've got confessions from Reddit. Okay. Where people have left confessions. I'll read you the top line. I put my grandmother's ashes into my stepfather's tea. Is that a bar? That sounds like a bar. The whole name? No, just like grandmother's ashes. Yep. I put my grandmother's ashes into my stepfather's tea. What you know about me? <laughs> the stuff you don't want to see. Um, Wait, yeah, go on. This is pretty good. I thought you meant like a bar, as in a, a an establishment that serves drinks and spirits. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I don't know. I just saw you looking at your laptop. I was like, this is the perfect opportunity. ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, the lips thing. What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking wetting your lips like Thanos over here. Thanos. Thanos. <laughs> Such a hillbilly. <laughs> Thanos. What a prack. Um, and then question, would it be okay to fall in love with yourself? And then another question, suit wearing men, how do you regulate your temperature? So we'll choose one of those since we've got... Can you- uh, what's our time? What's 43 our... minutes. Get out of town. We'll probably keep this at an hour. Um, so you said like, is it okay to fall in love with yourself? We, By the way, we keep this at whatever time I fucking say. Okay. okay. This is intense improv. You, God damn it. You recording it on our device that I don't want to burn out. <laughs> like like, like my, my camera caps out at 30 minutes. So anytime, like I'm just like. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. I read about that because I was going to buy a camera. No, my wife had a camera and I was going to use it. But there was some sort of regulation from Europe that allows cameras to only film for 30 minutes. If you go longer They're than the 30 minutes, it's like, at least somebody told me um, that I've been learning photography from. He said, like, it's a different ta- – you get taxed differently on it because it's like a production camera or something like that. Yeah, not but if you hobby. change your name to Tupac, <laughs> then you get away with it. Then you don't pay taxes. Yeah, you don't pay taxes. Yeah. But, Interesting, uh, but yeah, but yeah. So that's why, like, anytime when I shoot my videos, I just feel like I put my finger up. I just need you to finish your sentence and hold your face exactly, and then I just restart it. So, oh, and then I clip them together. Oh, beautiful! What a nice way to do that. All right, so questions. You said pick one of the three. Yeah. Can you break down what is the love yourself one? Is that like you're? All right, we're gonna go with that one then. Yeah. Would it be okay to fall in love with yourself? Like, what with parallel? Like, what with parallel universes and whatnot? You meet a parallel of yourself and fall in love. If they're the opposite gender, maybe you have babies. And to follow up, what would the children look like? Deformed? Or is some parallel universe force at work making it different than expected? What are your takes? No, that's incest. Like, tell me that's not just, like, having sex with your sister. You guys grew up in the same conditions, same parents, maybe got the same personality. But in a parallel universe, your DNA is not the same. It's parallel. Okay. You got PNA. Parallel universe. Neural, yeah. Ex- acrobat- <laughs> acrobatics. <laughs> you got parallel Novakawab acrobatics. Novakawab. Yeah. Novakawab. <laughs> oh, oh, eh. So. Is it, okay. Is it Because that happened in the Loki show. Um, He falls in love with himself. Like but a female version of himself. That comes from another universe. What's what's her name? Uh, Loka? Loki. Oh, it's just girl Loki? It's just girl. It's just Loki. Well, it's not girl Loki. She's just Loki. Oh, she's just Loki. Yeah. Okay. It's not like they see me like, and they're like, you're tall guy number two. Loki. Is she Loki? Like DTF? Yeah. 
He's like, you like that thing too? That's your kick too? That'd be uh, I don't know. I think it's, I wouldn't, maybe. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm that. I don't know. It's weird because that's just another person. It's weird, man. But but if it's a parallel universe, how would you, so you'd have to travel. What did Loki do? Did he fuck himself? Mm, no, I forgot how. Oh, no, he got, uh, she banished him to another dimension because she wanted to, spoiler, she wanted to kill the king of time or something like that. Oh. And Loki, our Loki was like, no, don't do that. And she's like, I have to do this. Uh, nice. Was Owen Wilson proud of him? Uh, you did a good job, Loki. Wow. Wow. You saved the king of time. Wow. And you saved my dog, Marley. <laughs> I like. I feel like you have to purse your lips. Yeah. Nice, Loki. Wow, Loki, wow. You want to crash a wedding with me, Lokes? You know, it's not that at all. Yeah. <laughs> Owen Wilson monologues. That's, <laughs> that's one of the segments of the show. Owen Wilson, trash or treasure? Treasure. Yes. Treasure. Right answer. Yeah. There's usually not a right answer, but in that case, there is. Yeah. He is an amazing man, an amazing actor. I mean, probably a mediocre actor, but he was one of the first out there that was a real star, but he looked kind of like trash because mm -hmm. his nose is just so broken. It really is. I was trying to think like how you make it in Hollywood that with that nose. It's interesting. Think of how many times. He's gotten his meta, his spiritual nose broken when they're like, this is not what we're looking for. He's like, well, what are you, how can I change? And they're like, it's the nose. Like your nose has gonorrhea. Like go to the doctor and get it fixed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not Nerezi being Owen, but that was a Spanish joke. Nerezi? Nariz? Nasal? Nose? <laughs> Yes. I can't learn multiple things. I faded back from Spanish. All right, all right, yeah. moving on. But then he probably goes to the doctor, and the doctor's like, we can't do anything for your nose. He's like, please, doc, you got to change my nose. I need to get more parts. And the doctor's like, oh, yeah, on this improv, it's intensive improv, so it's, it's, it's like, awful. well, we don't serve white people here. <laughs> but, doc, you're white. Why? I may have a white coat, but I'm from Anchorage, bitch. Bear spray. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh, man, that's the Grizzly stuff. I thought it was for Breeze, but there was a safety on it. And that's how. Would you Would you, Would you? you fall in love with yourself from another universe? Yeah. Probably. Well, no, because I don't really love myself as I am. Because, like, I would. It's hard to think, like. I'd be like, annoyed with myself. I don't think I'm bad. I, I I don't think I'd annoy myself. I think I would just bounce off ideas like I would with you. Yeah. Like, and then just be like, ah, oh, but really just be secluded. I always think that like I'm chilling. And then what if like there's time travel in the future? I'm like, this person is really looking at me a lot. Is this like my great, great, great grandchild from the year like 2355? That's just like wanted to see me or something. Yeah. But you wouldn't want to bang yourself. Or like something, because like, I guess that's the full, that's the epitome of narcissism, right? Because you're just so in love with yourself. Well, it's just kind of like, because you, you see, I've seen some people edit, like, these are guys, and then they do like Photoshop and then turn them into girls. I'm like, yo, this guy looked like, this guy looks like pretty good as a girl. Like, you just. Oh, dude, I've seen that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think you can, yeah, you can definitely make a guy look like a pretty girl. But then the whole element is yourself. You're because then there's the personality. Okay, mm -hmm. here's a question: scale of one to ten, if you were Jeff Rina, what would you rate yourself? Would you be like, "Damn, I'm that's that's a hot piece of well and tail." If it, is Jeff Rina still like six foot three? Yep, probably like the same. I think I'm like a solid like female features. Female features? Yeah. Flat chested for sure. Probably, um, <laughs> but a juicy tush. Maybe, nah, maybe. Mm, I don't know. No? I am, Flat? I am, I'm Dominican, so, you know, they got some donka donks. Right, yeah, so juicy, fleshy tush. You yeah. got. Eh, I'll probably. I don't round. Know. I think the safe first, like, probably like a seven. Just give them, maybe safe. Because I don't know. I've That's never. That's the right answer. I've never been like too fixated. Like, I can't say, I'll say someone's like, suit, like, oh yeah, she looks good. But, like, it's really sure. just based on, like, 
if someone's like a like say even like a five and five is abstract so make it what you want but i can chat with them and get to know them and then in my eyes they're not like a five they're like an eight or nine to me then i call it the two point rule the two point rule for me is somebody can let's say they're a five they have a great personality they bump up to a seven if they were a 10 they and they have a horrible personality they bump down to an eight because i feel like personality can get you pr so far it does change it moves the needle mm -hmm. but then again you read it i mean like owen wilson he's he's not going to get above a six <laughs> he's just that nose man drops him down four points what do you think leonardo dicaprio is five <laughs> that's sparkling but like <laughs> But I don't know if I you went to the gym. Have the cutest burps. I love how it's just like I just do that out of respect. That's well, I'm <laughs> so glad. Cause if you just went right in my face, I would have I, I'd assume your dominance. And yeah. that's fine. I'm, like this house would be yours. Like I'm playing basketball. I'm just like <laughs> just like game point, bitch. But um <laughs> Big uh, Belch. But I feel like I don't know if you have you gone through like a cycle of like working out while you're in this creative a creative point in your life. Yeah, because for me, it's hard for me to be super creative and be writing jokes every day and still be doing workouts like five to six times a week. That's an excellent point. And I feel like well, I've just been working out a couple times a week, at least four times a week, probably for the past five years. So I can't say there haven't been many gaps. I'm not saying they're huge workouts or anything, but like 30 minutes. Okay. Workout, you know, I'm not, but I'm not working out heavy. Cause I think when I'm anymore. lifting and I'm like lightheaded afterwards, I feel like that, of course, maybe just be like, cause there's people that do. I'm just like, Oh, this kind of like, is this harder for me to like kind of be writing every time and like remembering, but I don't know. I'm just curious. Like, I'm just curious how other people do it. I think especially cause there, there are stuff like pre-workouts and supplements where that shit fucks with you. There's a lot of caffeine in pre-workouts. So if you're doing a pre-workout and then you work out for an hour, whatever, or even if you don't, you're going to crash. So you're not going to have that energy to be able to be creative and mm -hmm. focus. Yeah, I think because I think maybe it's a drive for you. But for me, it's an hour drive to go anywhere as far as like going to Improv Mania or JP. So, oh, yeah, yeah. So as I was like doing my 90 mics in 90 days, I was um, during the end of it, I didn't hit my goal. But that's because I was just kind of like... If I want to do five mics, that's 10 hours of driving. So, Damn, dude. <laughs> Damn. So, I don't know. That's how I kind of like waned off of it. That's why I'm at the point where like, I just went to the gym. Sounds just like, like I don't want to drive. It sounds like one of the reasons you failed yeah. is the excuses. That was true. It sounds yeah, it sounds yeah. like you're being a whiny little bitch. And I was just like, you know what? I don't want to pay for gas. Let me just Let me just go edit pictures on my iPod. Nice. Let me just forget about this goal that i made for myself and nice. publicly announced to everybody and made youtube videos for i'll probably i'll do a part three and just be like yo i didn't do it <laughs> oh i <laughs> like that i was like i didn't do it like, that's a good hey that's pretty good yeah because hollywood ex trains us to see happy endings mm -hmm. and so if you say i didn't do it i'm quitting comedy i've realized i'm not funny <laughs> i just re i realized like i'm just a <laughs> sack of shit so <laughs> <laughs> just totally shit on yourself yeah. but uh beautiful well, hey this is a comedy advice podcast jeffrey thank you so much for being on here did you learn anything did any what did we talk about did you like, get any what, advice so, like what tell me what we talked about i feel like every podcast i've listened to like that was really good and then i'm just like what the fuck did we do <laughs> we we talked about wrestling we talked about spanish Mm -hmm. portuguese we talked about bidets we talked about air fryers we talked about your wife we talked about living in alaska for like three sentences we talked about samoan shoulders that was a we good talked one. about steve-o we talked about avoiding taxes by changing your name we talked about a whole gaggle of things a whole salad a whole like a big old salad full of nutritious bits for the brains of our listeners that they can if, if things get too dirty you can always use hello tushy 20 percent off with a comedy advice podcast. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna use that from now on. That's gonna be the sound bite. Yeah. Yeah. You do that. E A sports. Like... It's in the game. Or just no. Can, can you do like hello tushy? It's in my butt. Hello. Oh no. It's... Hello <laughs> tushy. It's in my butt. <laughs> there we go. Oh man. I feel like they should be. My phones are gonna be ringing off the hook. Really? This is gonna be so much. Mm -hmm. We talked about Italians. We talked about my grandma. We did impressions. We did several scenarios. 
with uh, Penny and Puppy. Puppy. Yeah, so. so we talked about a lot. Yeah. But what's the advice? That's what I was asking you. Like nothing. So you learn nothing. Well, it's just a chat. Like I think of these as like just me getting to know you in a situation that I don't I'd never get to know you. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so that might be something. I just know that you are wealthier okay. than I thought you were. Wealthier than <laughs> Why do you say that? Is it because I wear button-down shirts to podcasts? Uh, it's because you have a fridge for sparkling water. It's not specifically <laughs> for sparkling water. For those of you, it is. It is. You got me. It's just for those of you that haven't seen my fridge, I will show you on the next episode of Cribs. But it's just stacked with flavors upon flavors of sparkling water. Yeah. So, what was your favorite? Was it Razzle Dazzle Berry or was it White Gummy Bear? Yeah, yeah, I think I'll go with the Razzle Dazzle. Razzleberry. Yeah. Was it? Razzleberry. Razzleberry. Or did you like Thanos? <laughs> Thanos. Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> Thornberry Thanos. My fave flame. <laughs> yeah, snap, snap, bitch. All right, well, I feel like that's a good note to end it on. Because I think you tried to end it like 30 minutes ago, so. I did, yeah, yeah but you did. just kept pressing on. No, you pressed it. You did. I feel like we pressed it together. I kind of, like, I kind of slowed down, but I was like, you know. I mean, you took the lull and you talked about. Bro, when you give me a lull, you know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> yeah. Just abuse it. Just mm, just take it. it I'm going to break its ribs, just like Steve Owens mm -hmm. from Jackass. Steve O wins. wins. Gotcha. Oh, man. Gotcha. Do you think that he's related to Owens Wilson? I feel like they don't look the same. <laughs> nor, nor can relation be shown from a first name and last name match but beyond that uh goodbye oh do you have anything to plug fuck uh i've been out of this for way too long yeah i'll be this, at... will, this will probably go out next monday next monday oh well what well, i'm actually doing uh, just trash or treasure and then uh baby faces on the 21st at improv mania of January of 2022. That's great. In Arizona. You know what I just realized is you and I might be, and the links are going to be in the show notes for that, for all of you people that were like, oh my God, where are they? And um, you and I might be parallel universe people. Like, you want to fuck me? That's what I was trying to, that was the bush I was beating around. It's like, that door is locked. I and... want that bush. That's <laughs> You don't know what's in that LaCroix. I know, that low. But that's, your, your crotch, I bet. That's <laughs> It's LaCroix. It, yeah, exactly. And then ingredients, these nuts. This is this is my nut sauce. This is, like, I knew you're vegan, so I just I gave you put these these nuts in there. Oh, yeah, these salty. Mm, well, there's no sodium, actually. I extracted it. But the finest minerals. And as Iron Fist? Is it? I thought I was making like a portal. All right, let's go. Let's oh, go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were doing Kung Fu. I thought you were trying to defend yourself, but it's futile. So it's okay. And I'm going to sing you happy birthday while you're falling asleep. Happy birthday to you.